Welcome to Anklam, an old historic city near Germany's Baltic coast, close to the popular island of Usedom. Anklam dates back to 1243, and only 40 years later it was already a vibrant trading town, part of the medieval Hanseatic League. So let's explore the charm of Anklam today, with the river Pina running through it, its many sights, and the breathtaking countryside around it. A first impression of this old Hanseatic city on the Baltic. The old town centre, lovingly restored. The school attended by the Lilienthal brothers, aviation pioneers. The town's oldest building, the Gothic-style gabled house. The Pina Tor Bridge, part of the Mecklenburg Lake cycle path. And Clams Inland Harbour, the ideal starting point for all kinds of water sports. On these stunning stretches of rivers and lakes, boating tours are really popular. Here, weekend sailors can simply stop over at visitors' moorings, make use of up-to-date sanitary facilities, or simply stroll across the generous lawned area before heading off back onto the water. The unspoilt countryside along the River Pina is breathtaking, the perfect way to cope with the stress of modern life. Germany's last undeveloped river valley is rich in flora and fauna, a totally unforgettable experience, watching osprey, otters or other endangered species in their natural environment. By the way, the large protected nature reserves aren't just for boats. They're easy to explore for ramblers and bikers too. The canoeing station is the first stop for water fans wanting to hire a kayak or canoe, or just for a change, build one themselves. Around 15 kilometers by boat down the river Pina, after a thoroughly enjoyable trip past these unspoilt lowland plains stretching across Mecklenburg Western Pomerania, and you come to the visitor's moorings at Stolper. But Stolpe is also easy to reach by bike, a fantastic trip through this unique countryside and a hand-pulled ferry ride across the river. Time, perhaps, to enjoy the local cuisine in the Stolpe Farkrug Inn. And for summer guests, to finish off a refreshing dip. If you're keen on architecture, you shouldn't miss this real jewel, the Abbey Ruins, the oldest stone church in Pomerania, the starting point for the spread of Christianity here. And for those wanting to wind down from the hectic city rat race, what could be better than Stolper's restored manor house, a delightful mix of park, manor farm buildings and barns, with an irresistible charm, rarely found in other hotels. Swimming fans are spoiled for choice. The entire area around Anklam is full of lakes, ideal for swimming. And it's not only kids who welcome a cooling break from a sightseeing tour. The Landskron Castle dates back to 1576. Today, its ruins probably form the most romantic backdrop of any castle ruins in Pomerania. The castle tower has been restored and is open to the public. 
and offers a breathtaking view across this delightful countryside. Numerous restaurants and cafes provide a chance to enjoy both international cuisine and local specialities. And after a relaxed evening with your family and friends, the city's hoteliers are on hand to ensure you get a truly relaxing night's sleep. Anclam has a wealth of historical sites, like the 32-metre-high red-brick Gothic-style Steintor Tower with its museum. The Steintor is Anclam's only remaining medieval city gate. St. Mary's Church dates right back to 1296. The 13th century St. Nicholas's Church was almost totally destroyed in the Second World War. Today, the ruins give an idea of this once impressive church building, while the parts restored are already being used for events, concerts and exhibitions. Anne Clam is the hometown of renowned aviation pioneer Otto Lilienthal, whose work with gliders inspired the Wright brothers to attempt the first powered flight. The Otto Lilienthal Museum is dedicated to his life's work, a must for every visitor. Why not realize Lilienthal's dream of flying and explore the skies over the town? Take off from Anclam Airfield on a round trip to enjoy a different view of the town sites and its wonderful countryside. A landmark visible from far away, the Karnin Railway Bridge, built where the River Pina opens into the large freshwater lake connected to the Baltic. In its day, the bridge was considered the most modern in Europe, but was largely destroyed in the Second World War. Now the bridge's ruins are a listed monument. The charming little villages of Lassan, Camp, Stolpe and Rankfitz can be easily reached on a day's boat trip from Anklam Harbour. The captain steers a course across the Stettin Half, the large freshwater lake opening into the Baltic, and gives guests plenty of time to get a real impression of this lovely area. It's not only for boaters though, motorbikers also love it. Every year in summer, the changing scenery and the stunning countryside around Anclam draws many visitors and it's a real El Dorado for motorbike fans. But young or old, the cornfield labyrinth is great fun for all, a real rarity, although you might find you need to spend a bit longer here than planned, so our advice is bring a long piece of string or plenty of time. One of the region's special features is the Pommescher Manufaktur in Relzo, near Anklam, where the traditional craft pottery of the region is still produced, a part of Anklam's identity the locals are justifiably proud of.
The Muggenberg Moated Castle. This romantic medieval castle is really a copy built in 1890. It's hard work to climb up the Fangleturm Tower, but the reward is well worth it. A stunning view across the surrounding countryside. The Nizzo Palace grounds were designed by Josef Peter Lenné, one of Germany's most famous landscape architects. And this mock Tudor-style palace dating from 1848 is not only popular with tourists. Artists, too, feel inspired by the atmosphere of cool reserve exuded by this copy of a British manor house. Horse lovers are sure to have planned in a detour to the Bermit stables north of Anclam, ideal for organising a ride or a leisurely horse-drawn carriage trip through this delightful countryside. Kids are always welcome and there's lots of adventures just waiting for them to discover. Or just take it easy in the lovingly designed park light grounds or enjoy the cosy atmosphere on this former Junkers Manor estate. Back in Anclam, there's still more to see. The Pulverturm Tower, since 1853 an observatory, is open for tours by arrangement. But if you only want to relax, why not take in the peace and quiet in Anclam City Park? For sports fans, the completely renovated sports stadium is a must. Lovers of the opulent and colourful shouldn't miss the Pina Festival every year at the start of September. The setting couldn't be more dramatic down on the bulwark at Anclam Harbour and guests are very welcome to join us. But why not just take a trip to Anclam and discover our old city on the River Pina for yourself? We're looking forward to seeing you.